Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create um, some detail effects using normal everyday sewing pins. This is what you'll need for uh, to, to do this. Uh, we've got our sewing pins, now these are just cheap stuff. Uh, I got these from the supermarket, only a couple of dollars. They're just your standard everyday clothespin with a uh, flared out top uh, you also need a pin vise with some drill bits some tweezers some metal side cutters don't use your uh, don't don't be using your plastic side cutters use proper metal side cutters for this and the piece you want to work on now this piece is the shoulder armor of a master grade full armor uh, full armor Gundam and as you can see there I've already done one um, and I'll quickly go through and show you how easy it is to do this so what we want to do we want to take our drill bit with our sized um, appropriately sized bit and to size our bit all we need to do is take a one of these pins and just line up the drill bit with the pin to make sure they're the right side, the same size. Now this one is about one millimeter. Uh, depends on the pin, but they're generally the same sort of rough size, so around one millimeter. Now we take our piece and we want to place these in spots where you'd normally find a rivet or a detail. Um, on the panels so for example on this I've done this one in the corner so uh, we want to do ones on some of these extra corners I probably wouldn't do them on these pieces here but my, the main strength parts of the armor um, I would so all we need to do is once, once we work out where we want our, our rivet to be our detail part to be we just line our pin vise up, I'll try and get that on camera for you and we just drill away, this one's I'll just drill this one a little bit off but it's alright for demonstration's sake so now I've drilled all the way through let's pull that out and you would be very careful too because these drill bits are very flexible and very brittle and can be snapped quite easily so now take our pin and we slide it into the hole. Now, this is a bit, a little bit stiff and tight to get it in, uh, which is good because um, that way we won't need to use glue later on. So, as you noticed, we've got a problem there. So, what we need to do now is take our cutters and cut the pin down to size. So what we want to consider when doing this is how much pin is going to be sticking at the other side uh, and whether we can get in with our cutters later on and cut them off. Um, up here is a bit hard to get the cutters in but this would be easy to get the cutter into there but it's easy just to cut it the right length in the first place. So we get a rough sort of idea just by lining up against the piece. Now when we cut it we need to be wary of the as we cut the pin shooting out each end so this is how I do it to combat it just pinch the end like so like that and then just stick your finger over the end and click that comes off and we just drop the pin head onto the workbench now this we can use this later on if you want and for other detail parts if you wish um, otherwise chuck it in the bin I've got a heap of them I'm just going to chuck it in the bin for now. So, with our tweezers, because these are so small and fiddly, pick up our uh, pin head and we line up the pin with the hole and gently just push it into the hole. Like so. 
Now, if the if you're having trouble pushing it into the hole, if the hole's just that like a nanomillimeter too small, just use I use the back of the tweezers or something similar just to push down. So it's a nice big flat area to push down on it, and it should pop through. So that's how we do those sorts of uh, details with pins. Now I'll go through one more quick little detail. Um, these, as you see, are raised and there is actually a way we can actually recess them down into um, the plastic. Now it's a little bit tricky um, but it is simple at the same time. We'll just make a new hole on the other side Now, with another larger drill bit, now to size this next, this next piece, this next bit, uh, what I've done is we just take, instead of taking the, uh, the length of the pin, we take out the flared piece and we just line it up against it like so. Now, you'll see that the drill bit is just very slightly larger than the, uh, the head of the pin. So what we're going to do now is just put this piece, this drill bit in and ever so slightly, we don't want to go all the way through because we still want to keep the size we've got there on the inside to hold the pin in place. So we just want to do it enough so that the head of the pin drops down below the plastic so we line up with the center of the original, the already drilled hole. We give it a, a few turns of the drill. And we just check it. And you'll see there, let's clean it up a little bit. And you'll see there on camera, um, we've still got the small hole in the center. And we've got a larger hole on the outside, but it hasn't gone all the way through. So, what that will do now is, I'll just cut this pin. We'll just insert that into the hole if I can. I'll just use tweezers because my fingers are a bit bit too large so we just line up the hole same thing again um, we might actually have to what we might do because I've drilled out with the other this larger piece um, larger bit it's actually misshapen the plastic the hole from the original hole so I'll just re-drill that ever so slightly just open it back up again now, just with our tweezers, line up the hole, if I can get it in, and push it down, and you'll see that they are at sunken down a lot more compared to that side. Now depending on the plastic we might need to um, do that a little bit more. Just to sink it down a little bit more. So just again, just look ever so slightly, we don't want to go all the way through. We just want to go enough so that the pin will go through and drop down flush with the top. Again with the tweezers. Tweezers are hard to work with sometimes. Just line up our hole. No, it doesn't want to go in. And 
push it down. There we go. And all we need to do is take our cutters. We'll just nip it off there. Put that down a bit. And uh, that's how you recess them into the kit. So as you can see on that side, they are slightly raised. And then on that side, it's just, they're, they're raised a little bit, but the bottom of the piece is actually inside the plastic, so it actually looks more like a, um, it should be there rather than just sitting on top like these ones are. So there you go. That's how you use ordinary, everyday household sewing pins uh, to add extra added detail to your kits.